On the 18th of December 1916, the Battle of Verdun during the First World War ended when a French offensive pushed the German army back. Welcome to History Pod. The Battle of Verdun began on February 21, 1916. German forces under the command of Crown Prince Wilhelm launched an assault with the objective of bleeding France white by forcing the French army into a protracted and resource-draining defence of the historic fortress of Verdun. Lasting for almost ten months, the battle saw a constant exchange of artillery fire, gas attacks and close-quarters combat. Initially, German forces achieved substantial gains, but the French, led by Generals Philippe Pétain and Robert Nivelle, put up a fierce resistance. Although the Germans mounted renewed offensives over the summer, French counterattacks, combined with the arrival of reinforcement and improved logistics, gradually shifted the momentum. With the onset of winter and the realisation that neither side could secure a decisive advantage, the intensity of the fighting gradually diminished. The German attack slowed thanks to the impact of the Battle of the Somme, which had drawn German forces away from the Verdun sector and developments on the Eastern Front that required the redeployment of troops. When the French launched the Second Offensive Battle of Verdun on the 15th of December, they pushed the German lines back a number of kilometres and took over 10,000 prisoners. The Battle of Verdun which is often characterised by its attritional nature, exemplified the horrors of trench warfare and the immense human cost of the First World War. The terrain around Verdun was destroyed, while estimates placed there being close to half a million casualties on each side. The French, however, could claim a moral victory, having successfully defended the historic fortress of Verdun against overwhelming odds. Thank you.